up you guys welcome back to the channel today I have an exciting video but definitely something that I have never done before so in today's video I'm actually going to be talking about another creator here on YouTube that creator is boogie 2988 I'm sure I don't need to explain who boogie is I'm sure a lot of you guys follow him his channel is absolutely huge he has over 4 million subscribers but he is best known <laughs> for his basically his character that he plays named Francis who looks like this Now a lot of people know that that's not actually who Boogie is, that's just a character that he plays, but a lot of people have seen those Francis videos, so hopefully you know who I'm talking about now. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the reason that I'm making the video. As you can probably tell by the title of the video, Boogie is actually going to be getting gastric bypass surgery here in a couple weeks. He is actually in the process right now of doing the liquid diet that you need to do to get your stomach ready before you get the surgery. It'll be exactly two weeks from the day that this video goes live that I'll be on the operating table and hopefully everything will go well. So in this video I just kind of want to talk about my thoughts on weight loss surgery, my experiences with weight loss surgery, and hopefully you know talk a little bit about Boogie as well. So for me when it comes to my stance on weight loss surgeries, obviously there's a ton of of different ones you can get. You can get the sleeve, you can get the lap band, you can get gastric bypass. Like, there's obviously a ton of different ones that you can get. This is coming from someone that almost got a weight loss surgery. A lot of you guys know this, I've told this story before, but when I was 16 years old, I was part of this study that they did for children that were obese or like adolescents that are obese and they were trying to give everyone lap bands. So I was involved in this study where they tried to give 16, 15 year olds lap bands. I went to a bunch of different doctor's visits, I went to this huge presentation that they had with like 30 different kids that were obese like I was really about to get the surgery but I remember in my head and I even said this to the doctor they said like you know do you have any are you having any second thoughts like what what's going through your head how sure are you that you want to get the surgery and I remember I said to the doctor I said I'm about 80% sure that I want to get it and the thing that was crazy to me was he was actually really excited to hear that from me because he had been talking to 15 14 16 year olds all day that they were 100% they're like I want to get the surgery this is the only thing that's gonna fix me. I need to get this surgery. And the, he said the fact that I was 16 years old, but I was still kind of doubting that I needed to get it and that I still kind of believe that I could lose the weight on my own. He was actually really excited to see that from someone that was my age. I remember when he said that to me, it almost cemented the fact that I didn't want to get the surgery because it just seemed crazy to me that there were so many kids that were my age at the time that were 100% willing to change their life. Now, was I getting gastric bypass? No, it wasn't gonna be something that was as serious and as you know permanent as that the lap band is something you can take off after time but I remember like with the different things that could go wrong it still scared me even at 16 years old so I think that's why for me as someone that has lost the weight naturally without doing any surgery but almost ended up getting a surgery when I was 16 that's why I really believe that more people get the surgery than actually need it now you'll notice that I didn't say that I think the surgery is absolutely stupid and nobody should ever get it I 100% believe there are certain people that the surgery is the only or the last option that they have to lose weight I absolutely believe that weight loss first and foremost should improve the quality of your life and if you have genuinely tried and I mean genuinely tried for years and years and years to lose weight healthy ways try different diets and like you've you've tried everything and I mean everything to lose weight then maybe consider getting a surgery and like I said I think the amount of people that actually should be getting surgeries is a lot lower than the amount of people that are actually getting surgeries now bringing this back to boogie the person that inspired me to make this video obviously I don't know him in real life I've never met him but from what I've seen in videos literally over years and years I've been watching him for such a long time like I really believe that this is someone that the surgery absolutely makes sense for he has tried so many different diets and the thing that's cool is that they, he's talked about it he's talked about his mental state he's talked about all of these other things that are going on in his life like there's videos of him explaining all of this stuff and honestly like I can say that I am for most people that would tell me they're getting weight loss surgery in my head I would be like man like I wish that they would maybe try this or that or like I really think that they can lose the weight without getting the surgery but I think Boogie even says it himself in his video like if he really tried 110% or 115% he thinks that he could lose the weight on his own but he just hasn't been able to get there yet like and I just really really think that this surgery is going to actually be a positive for him and help him live a longer life and like I for someone, I mean, I guess it's kind of selfish, but for someone that's actually like a huge fan of him and love watching his videos, I would hate to see him go earlier than he needs to, you know? I would not have lived another two years 
I'd have been surprised if I lived another year had we not made a drastic change. And that drastic change did not have to include surgery. I do genuinely believe that if I tried 110% um, I would be able to get it right. So I can say that I'm definitely on board with Boogie getting this surgery. And another thing that's kind of, I guess, selfish, but I'm really, really excited to be able to follow this journey from him doing the liquid diet, which is what he's doing now, to getting the surgery, to seeing what it's like afterwards. I'm really excited for myself because I want to learn more about this stuff Obviously, it's something that I'm very interested in, and I, I think that it's going to be really, really cool for, I'm sure some of you guys follow him as well, and if you're not, you should definitely subscribe to his channel, because I know he's going to be making those update videos, and it's just going to give people so much information on, like, what's going on, like, what is it really like when you get these weight loss surgeries? A lot of people, when you bring up weight loss surgeries, they kind of think that, you know, it's kind of, it makes weight loss effortless, like, you don't even have to try, so it's like a lazy man's way to lose weight. Now, I think that it definitely does make it a little bit easier and like Boogie, he even says in his own video that it will make it a little bit easier for him but I don't think that it takes all of the actual challenge and all of the things that you have to go through when you are losing weight. There's still tons of stuff you have to do. You have to go on a liquid diet for a few weeks before you get your surgery. You have to stay on that liquid diet. Your whole life literally changes after you get surgery. You have to change. You can't drink carbonated water. Like you can't have soda. You can't have diet soda. You can't have. You can't drink for a long time. You can't. Like there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. So it definitely doesn't make weight loss effortless. So I'm really really excited to be able to follow along this journey with Boogie. Now, like I said before, I think that weight loss surgery is 100% the last option for weight loss. So I think you should try everything else before you decide to do something that's going to permanently change your life in the future. With all that being said, Boogie, if you're watching this, I just want to say that I'm rooting for you and I cannot wait to see how everything changes in your life in a year and two years and three years. I hope obviously that you are able to get through the surgery with no complications and honestly, I'm just really, really excited to see this change in your life and hopefully it will uh, inspire a lot of other people to lose weight, whether they want to do that naturally or they want to get a surgery. Hopefully you'll be able to, you know, give them that information so they can make a decision that they know is the right one for them. So that's gonna be the video today you guys. Again, Boogie's channel, I'm sure most of you guys are subscribed to him, but if you're not, his channel will be down in the description. I would love for you guys to go, you know, let him know that we support him, that you guys support him. I know that if I was in his shoes, I would absolutely love to have all of the support that I could possibly have. So again, if you guys wanna check him out, definitely check that link in the description. But again, I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. What was it? Oh yeah, look up above I am. Uh. Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.